This is another episode of the Paris Jones Show. I'm your host, Paris Jones. Let's get into it. Guys, today's episode is about why you cannot tell people your plans, especially if it's plans that you got from the Most High about something that he needs you to do. Don't let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. Now, there are different ways to contextualize this line that Jesus said in the Bible. But in this case, what we're talking about is you can't let other people know what you're doing sometimes because they will try to interject themselves into what you're doing. And sometimes what comes with that is sabotage. And I know from experience about what that entails. So today's episode, you can't let people know your plans. And it sucks that we have to have this mentality, but it's true. People are very wicked sometimes. And you'd be surprised at just how many people want to see you fail, want to see your downfall, don't want to see you succeed. You'd be surprised. I think a lot of times we want to brush things off that people do or say to us when we are trying to reach our higher self, trying to reach the highest version of ourself. We, we, we ignore a lot of stuff because we want to give people the benefit of the doubt. But you have to understand in this life, when you have different plans, you have a purpose, that people will intentionally do stuff to throw you off course and not care, not bad an eye. It doesn't matter how long you've known them, who they are, they will do this. There are people who just don't want to see you win. Now, of course, you're going to have people who support you along the way, but the majority of this world is ran by people who follow Satan. So we have to understand as Satan's children, they will try to hinder your work, try to hinder what God has planned for you. You have to face reality. See, when you have these big goals, these big aspirations in life, these big plans, you have to understand that there are people around you who are jealous, envious, manipulative, and they will do anything it takes to stop or delay what you have going on. And if you aren't aware that this is happening or aware of what to look out for, they can ruin your plans and what you have going on. But this is why we're here today, because as someone who has dealt with this, I can tell you what to look out for. See, when people are jealous and envious of you and your plans that you have, your goals that you have, and they know that they can't do what you're doing, they will also try to plant seeds of doubt. They will try to sabotage your plans. When you're on the verge of taking action on those big goals, those big aspirations you have, it's exciting and you want to tell people about what you're doing, about what you have going on. But you have to know that you have to be really discerning about who you tell and what you tell them. So one of the biggest mistakes you can make is telling people your plans before you enact them because you don't know what people's intentions are. People can, you can have known people for years and not really know what they're thinking. You don't really know people like that, like you think you do. You don't know what their intentions are for you and your plans. You may think you know people and they'll switch it up and then they'll ruin everything you worked hard for because they don't want to see that for you. They don't want to imagine you in a place where you are quote unquote higher than them. So they'll do anything to stop it. And this can be friends, family, whatever it is, they don't care. There's just something in them that they don't want to see you win. See, this is the part in life where you have these big goals and aspirations when you tell people your plans, you'll find out who likes you for you, who is jealous of you, who is envious of you. You'll find out. It may not be right away, but at some point you will find out how people really feel about you and what you're doing by how they interact with you, their body language, what they tell you. But you have to have a discerning ear and eyes to be able to tell what they're saying, what they're doing to you. One thing you need to watch out for is when you tell people your plans and you notice a slight frown in their face, like, mm, like mm, you have to notice little things in their body language. Pick up on things like that because that means they're not down with what you're doing. Now, it may not be that they think it's a dumb idea or a crazy idea. It may be that they just don't want you to succeed at it because they realize that throughout the most of your life, you've succeeded in whatever you put your mind to. And so they know if you really put your mind to this thing that you told them about, that they're not going to like the result of that. They're not going to like the result of you going after these huge goals in life because they will get left behind. And most times you're not even thinking that way. 
but they kind of like speak it into existence by their jealousy and hatred of you. You have to understand one of the reasons that people don't want your plans to succeed is because they are really jealous and envious of you. There are a lot of people jealous in this world of others. And when you have big goals and aspirations in life, people do not want to see it happen because maybe they don't have big goals in life. Maybe they don't want to work for them and you are willing to work for it. And they don't want to see you succeed at it because they know deep down that they don't, they're not willing to put in the work that you are for it. So what they're going to do is sometimes they don't even know they're doing it. Subconsciously, they're going to do things. They're going to say things to make sure that this doesn't happen for you or that they make the process very uncomfortable. A lot of people are just jealous of your potential. They know how far you can go. Sometimes they see it before you and they don't want that to happen because again, like I said before, they feel like you'll leave them behind. They feel like you're going to get attention. They feel like the spotlight is going to be on you and not them. And so these people are jealous and envious because of that reason. They see the potential in you. They see what you can do and they don't want it to happen. So what do they do? They got to find some way to stop it. So you have to understand a lot of people are driven by the vain things of this world. They are driven by money, power, fame. And a lot of times when you're telling them your goals and plans in life, you're not even talking about that. You're not even thinking about that. Now that may come as a result of what you're doing, but that's not your intentions. But for them, for these people who are vain, these people who think about their ti the titles. You know, you ever met people who are just really obsessed with their title in life, about what they do instead of who they are? Most times these people don't know who they are. And that's why they're jealous of you because they you know exactly who you are and what you want in life and what and you're going after what you want to. And you don't care what anybody says. And these people are mad about that because they don't really know deep down what they want in life or who they are. So what do they have to do? They have to do things to make you doubt yourself. They have to do things to make you doubt your plans. They have to plant these seeds of doubt to make sure what you're doing does not happen. And when they plant these seeds of doubt, sometimes you don't even pick up what's happening. You don't even notice it's what they're doing because they, they, they slide it into the conversation so sneakily that you don't even realize, oh, they actually are trying to get me to stop doing this by what they're saying, but they're saying it in a way to make it seem like it's advice. You may not even pick up on it at first. It takes a long time of noticing patterns and noticing how people are talking to you and noticing how they're saying it to notice, hmm, wait a second. They don't actually want me to do this. They're just telling me in a roundabout way or they will do little things or say little things to make it seem like what you're doing is insignificant, to make it seem like it's not working, to make it seem like you're failing because they don't, they want you to get wrapped into the results. And you could have just started this, this thing, this journey that you're on and they want you to be, they're, they're into it more than you are. You might not even be focused on the sales of your business when you just started it, but they're going to be focused on that and bring it up to you. Or when you're you're doing uh, arts or music, they're going to be caught up in the numbers and you're like, I'm not even concentrating on that. I'm just focused on making great art. What they're trying to do is to make you question yourself, make you question what you're doing. Oh, maybe I'm not doing this right because they said this and that. Huh, maybe this is wrong. Maybe the way I did this is wrong because they said this and that. They're trying to make you question you and your plans. So eventually you get to the point where you stop and give up because you don't really know what to do anymore. You question yourself out of what you're supposed to be doing. These people know if they can't stop you, they have to find a way to delay what you're doing. So they'll do little different things to, to just slow you down. They'll say things to try to slow you down. And maybe they, if they say something negative, it'll slow you down that day. You know, they, they hope they're in hopes that it does that. It has that effect. Or if you have an achievement, you hear from this person out of nowhere and they'll say something to make you like just question what you're doing or just make you feel down about what you're doing. And it's like, like, why are they, why now? What, what, what's up with this timing? And they're doing this on purpose. And over time, those little seeds of doubt begin to manifest. They begin to manifest in different aspects of your plan. You start to think, huh, maybe this is just a mistake. Maybe I should have done things this way. Maybe I should have done things that way. 
you start to question everything about what you're doing because now you're focused on the results because they planted those seeds of doubt into you. And they play these little games and manipulation tactics to stop and delay what you have going on because they don't want it to happen. There's a saying that people who want you to win will help you win. And what they're doing is really counterproductive. They're not actually helping you. They're throwing these little things that disguise it as advice, but it's not really advice. It's just things that trip you up because if they really wanted to help you, they would. And they would help you. And a lot of times these people know what they can do to help you. They choose not to though, but they'll try to help you in ways that don't help at all. If anything, it just makes you doubt yourself. Then something else they'll do is they'll start comparing what you're doing to people who are already at the top of that field and whatever you're, you're doing. So if you are in tech, they'll compare you to Bill Gates or whoever is the top in that. If you're doing music, they'll compare you to Jay-Z and Beyonce. Like you're supposed to be on their level already. You know, if you're an artist, they'll compare you to Basquiat or whoever is the top artist. It's like, why are you comparing me to these people who are legends in their field when you know I'm just starting out, I, I can't compete with that right now. I don't have the resources to compete with that right now. So why are you doing that? I don't do that to you. But people are doing this on purpose to make you question yourself, to make you doubt yourself. Plant little seeds of doubt. Now, the last part of this is something that I've dealt with personally. And man, it's like something you don't even realize is happening until after the fact, months after sometimes. And you're like, wow, they really did this to me. And you can't believe it sometimes. The last part of this is when you tell people your plans, you have to prepare for some of them to try and sabotage it. They're going to try to sabotage what you have going on. It's just reality. It doesn't matter who it is. It can be friends, family. They will try to sabotage what you have going on. This happens in a few ways. Some people, when you tell them your plans, they will pretend to try and help you. But this is a way to sabotage what you're doing. All of a sudden, the thing you needed that is supposed to take a few hours, maybe a day or two, is now taking months. And you're trying to like, yo, what's going on? And they have every excuse in the book about why they haven't done it yet. And it's like, man, I would have been better off doing it myself or, or hiring somebody else to do it. But these people don't do this stuff on purpose to delay what you have going on. They say, oh yeah, I'll do that for you. They ghost you. And now you're looking crazy because it's like, man, the thing I needed weeks ago, now I have to scramble to find somebody else to do it because they're not going to do it. And it kind of just ruins your plans in a, in a way. Another reason you can't tell people your plans, you'll have people who try to interject themselves into it. They will try to make the plans about them or try to make them a part of it when they're not supposed to be a part of these plans at all. And it's like when people do this, when people interject themselves into your plans, Oftentimes it's it's set up for ruin. It's a setup for failure because when they get involved, they have to put their own little flavor onto it. And that's not it's not even about them, but they make it about them. And then all of a sudden you have this negative energy into your plans. And you're like, man, why didn't this work out? Because you had that person in there with that negative energy who didn't want this to succeed in the first place. And that's why they interjected themselves into it. So it would fail. But in the case that it did work, now they can say, I helped this person do this thing. And this is things you have to watch out for. Watch out for people who, when you tell them your plans, you're trying to do something, that they interject themselves into it. Like, oh, you got to involve me into this. No, I don't. You have to watch people like this because they're trying to sabotage you and what you have going on. And yeah, people are so sinister to the point they will try to get involved just to sabotage your plans. Believe it. It will happen. I've seen it firsthand. People will interject themselves. People will help you to sabotage your plans. And, and when this happens, now your plans are delayed. Now your plans are not going to happen. They're ruined. And you're like, wow, like, what am I going to do now? Now these people are gone. You don't hear from them anymore because your, your the plans failed. It, it didn't happen as intended. Now you're going to have grace through God, of course. But sometimes he has to show you like the people who... You thought we're going to help. No, not really. They weren't really around to help you. They were trying to stop it. They were trying to block it. They were trying to hinder it. They were trying to sabotage your plans. And that's why you cannot tell people anything. You can't tell people your plans because there are some people in this world who will betray you. 
and not think anything of it. And this was their intention the whole time, to mess up what you have going on so you won't surpass them. They're gonna do what it takes to make sure you don't surpass them. If that means sabotaging what you have going on, they'll do it. So don't tell people your plans. Don't tell them, I'm telling you. I know from experience, do not do it. And I put this to the test one day. Try something out, a goal that you have, and don't tell anybody, and watch how it flourishes. Watch how it flourishes. And watch the people who contact you afterward. Oh, I didn't know you had this going on. How can you didn't tell me? Those same people, if you told them, would have messed up your plans. They would have messed it up. They would have sabotaged it. Some people are just being nosy because they want to know what you have going on to mess it up for you because they don't want you to surpass them. That's why some people are keeping tabs on you every now and then to make sure you aren't doing anything that can put you over the top or put you ahead of them. Sometimes you cannot have that outside energy into what you're doing because people will throw it off. People will throw you off with their negative vibes, their negative energy, and then they'll have you looking crazy at the end. 